Hi everyone. I was having some trouble getting my my video to start, so I lost 15 seconds there at the beginning of the game. I don't like losing time, but what am I going to do? Um, anyway, we have a Ray Lopez. Uh, he's playing this other line. I'm just going to play like this. I play pretty boring moves against this um, kind of alternate variation of the Ray Lopez. I think it's called the Archangel or some crap. I'm supposed to know the name better than that, but whatever. Uh, I don't know. I feel like doing this. Why did I allow knight d well, knight d2 at least can be played? <laughs> but knight d4 looks like annoying. As always, I'm gonna try to move quickly and confidently. It helps a lot, especially in these where Lopez positions where like. Not much happens for a while. There's a lot of people just thinking, thinking and using up all their time, <laughs> and they don't really need, need to do that sometimes. Um, if he castles, I'll take him b5, take on a8, take on f6, I guess. And he'd have to take back with the pawn. I sort of messed this opening up, of course. I mean, you can take the bishop. You can do a bunch of things that are like slightly annoying. I'm gonna take this. What the hell? Ah, uh, you know what? Let's let's end this pin once and for all. I'll take with the queen, I think. Get out of the pin. Yeah, and he gets the two bishops, so you know what? Let me unpre-move that. Just thinking about taking with the knight instead. Ah, uh, but I'll take with the queen. <sighs> all right, now h3 looks useful. Oh my god, so much noise outside. Closing the window, even though it's hot in here. Bishop e6 looks pretty normal. And, you know, position's like about even. I mean, he's probably fine because, uh... You know what, let's trade off one pair of bishops then. Two bishops are better than one, right? I mean, two bishops... Yeah, the bishop pair is better than just having a bishop, so... Hopefully this will help to um, equalize things. I mean, I'll double in the F file. I play the real Ray Lopez like a total hack, by the way. <laughs> in case you haven't noticed, I just kind of like try to make a bunch of fast moves and, and hope for the best. I'm not sure. Maybe I should be playing on the A file instead of the F file. But whatever. I'm going to go work up one. Someday rook a6 could be useful, is all I'm saying. Uh, I want to go knight e h4, but it runs into like knight takes e4 stuff. I'm going to do this. How bad can this be? Because now if knight, e, if knight h4, knight e4, knight takes, queen takes, knight takes d6, somehow seems okay. Maybe. Notice I'm way up on clock. <laughs> on b clock, sorry. But I do have to figure out like some vague idea sometime around now to reroute my queen. This is stupid though. He's just gonna grab the a file like and, and get a lot of play. Like just just rook a8. Like what exactly am I doing? Nobody knows. Um. So we're gonna have to we're gonna have to reach recalibrate things here. I don't know what to do. I'm just planning maybe like g3 and knight h4, but it looks kind of ridiculous. I'm going to play this very passive move with my queen. I have ideas like knight c4 now. I'll probably go like queen a5, but then I get knight h4, which is somehow my big dream in life, even though he can go g6. All right, he, he retreated. This move looks very risky. I won't do it. Um, let me think. If I got a knight to a3, looks interesting. Because then if he goes b4, I get the c4 square. It's interesting. Interesting change of change of scenery. I'm suddenly going for the queen side. Because my rooks are on the f file, you know, it looks like I should be doing some stuff on the king side. But I block his file with knight a3, and anytime he goes b4, I gain the c4 square. 
So I kind of like this re rerouting of my position. Um, I'll just do this. If d5, probably I some, do some kind of ignoring strategy. h4 is interesting. I'll just do it. And then I'm going to move my king away because it's in the line of his queen on b8. Takes, I'll take with a knight. Um, oh, now I can't go to the square I wanted to go to. Well, what can you do? Okay, if I take on d5, takes on a3, I take on e6, he takes back on e6, I take on a3, and it's equal. I like equal. I think he'll take back on d5, but Okay, I, I thought he would do that, just because it's too hard to calculate that other crap. <laughs> and now I have, like, um, my knight where I want it to be. I mean, I think the other move might have been a safer choice for him, but, you know, he's low on time. I can take this with my pawn, if I'm not mistaken. That's what I will do. If bishop e6, e5 looks annoying. And he's getting very low on the clock now. This is how you win, folks. Make fast, semi-decent moves, and then they collapse. All right, so he wants to take on either e3. I want to get my knight to f5, man. Oh, shh. never mind. Um, it's an interesting position. I, I guess somehow queen d3 looks good, but no, not really. What if I go e5 and then... Thinking here because I feel like it's a big. What if I just rook f4, just defend the pawn? That's what I'll do. Greedy, Greg, you are a greedy bastard. I'm threatening like just rook f3. Not really threatening it, but kicks his queen away. All right. So if I play rook f3, he has to go back to g6. Now, a knight d6, I guess. And then knight f5 looks annoying. Look at his queen, right? And rook g3 is coming. Uh, okay, now he at least has his rook to knight to g4. Just want a safety against any back rank things. Um, I'm not sure exactly what I'm doing, but something. Attack his rook. Maybe he'll miss it. Uh, of course, I get the pawn also. Knight e7's a threat if he, if he strays now. Ah, he's dead. He has three seconds left. Um... Alright, I'll just go here. I'm gonna sack on g7. That way you can never mate me. All right, uh, I win. This is my total hack type moves, like taking on g7. But whatever, it's two seconds left. That's what you get. So yeah, you know, a typical win. I mean, my position was fine. You know, like most of the game, I was doing all right. Uh, but you could see that the time management really, really paid off. It made the game a lot easier than, than usual. And slightly wipes the taste out of my mouth from that, that horrible last game I played and lost. We gotta win a few more though before I get over that one. Um, but as you see, I'm just playing really well lately. Like the speed that I'm playing with and the confidence is paying off big time. So thanks guys for watching and I will see you tomorrow with another 5 minute game. Bye bye.